check, 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 check your one, two. Check one, two, two, one, two, yeah, two. Two, one, two, yeah, yeah, two, one, two. Yeah, 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 two. Yeah, 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 two, yeah, yeah, two, yeah. Check it two. Yeah.
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Please just view and move along that other people can get to, to view the body. Thank you. One. Okay, we are ready to bring in the casket. We are ready to bring in the casket. Ready to bring in the casket.
Bless you, sir. Bless you. Bless you. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, praise the Lord, everybody. We just um, have some reverence and be quiet. We're about to start the funeral service. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. We'll be reading from Psalms. Psalms. Lord, Lord, make me to know mine end and the measure of my days, that what it is that I may know how frail I am. Behold, thou hast made my days as an handbreadth, and mine age as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best taped it altogether vanity. Surely every man walketh in a vain show. Surely they are disquieted in vain. He heap up riches and know it not who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what wait I for what, what wait I more? My hope is in thee. Deliver me from my transgression and make me not the reproach of my enemies. Hallelujah to Jesus. I open not my mouth because thou didst it. Remove thy stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of thine hand. When thou wilt rebuke me, thus, when thou rebuke me, Praise the Lord. Thus correct man for iniquity. Thou makest his beauty to be consumed like a moth. Surely every man is vanity. Selah. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ears unto my cry. Hold not thy peace from me. Praise the Lord. Lord, and give me ears unto my cry, and give ears unto my cry. Hold not thy peace at my tears, for I am a stranger with thee. There ended the word of the Lord. It's taken from Psalms 100, Psalms 939, verse 1 to 13. I'm sorry, you I'm walking, I'm missing up on it. Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Can I ask everybody just to change your position? We're going to do some worship. Sweep over my soul. Sweep over my soul. Sweet spirit. Can you please stand over my soul?
heaven. You may be seated at this time. We just welcome you all this evening, February 11, 2023, to the celebration service of a young man from this community in Bobby McMahon. We come this evening to give God thanks for his life and also to pray for his wife, his widow and baby daughter. We also come this evening to rejoice in the Lord because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Can I hear a praise the Lord in the house this evening? Hallelujah. Just a few remarks before I go on. It is usual that we ask persons to turn their telephones off or to put them on silent. We know you are all busy. We know you are all on social media. We know you are all professionals. Persons are trying to reach you, but we would not like to have the service disrupted or interrupted with your telephone calls. So please do that for us. We truly appreciate it. The next thing I would like to bring to your attention is our bathrooms. We have two bathrooms. We have three ushers. Usher, put up your hand. Usher, put up your hand. And three ushers right there. If you need assistance, you will get assistance. Thirdly, we have provided a tent and um, a screen for you to view what is going on in the service here. So we would like you to take the opportunity to have a seat under the tent and be a little bit more comfortable as you view and you listen to the service. And also, when you look at the program, Church people love to put a little disclaimer. None was on this program. 
So I'm going to put a little disclaimer. This program is subject to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen? Not only that, there are little, there are little minor changes in the program. So please bear with us. Amen. There is nothing else for our remarks. And so at this time, I am going to invite us to stand while we sing just over in the glory land. It is in your program. I have a home prepared where the saints abide just over in the glory land. I have a home prepared where the saints abide just over in the glory land. And I long to be by my Savior's side, just over in the glory land, just over in the glory land, I join the happy angels mind, just over in the glory you to stand please i'd like everybody to stand amen we are going to go to prayer at this time
We know what sweet hour of prayer does for each and every one of us. And so would you just stand, change your posture, stand a while. As we go to the throne of grace, we are going to invite Dr. Gaza Thomas, the host pastor for this congregation to come at this time and pray. Bless the Lord Jesus. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes and let's just meditate on our creator this morning. Lord, you have been our dwelling place through all generation. Before the mountain were brought forth forever, you have made the earth and the world. You have been our refuge and our care. We ask your blessing this morning. As we come to you, Lord, we realize that we cannot do without you. Father, we ask you this morning that you will tabernacle with us this morning as we celebrate the life of this young man and that we look to you and realize that we too, one day, will be called, may be called to this occasion. Bless us now, Lord. Bless this service. Everything that shall be said be done to your glory. And Father, let this funeral be a reminder to each and every one to realize that one day we have a call. Maybe soon, maybe even before we leave this place, somebody may be called home. My God, but let that one make sure that he has a commitment with you. Oh, Father, we ask that you touch, Lord, the family. I know they are mourning and suffering because of the loss of this young man. But Lord, you are our comforter. We ask that you will comfort the family, comfort the bereaved. And even for the little babe who has not known his father, the only thing probably when she grow up, she might see the picture. Or if there is any video, she might look at it. But Father, we ask that you'll, you will surround her. You tell us that her angel always behold the face of your father, of his father. And so we ask the Lord, bless this service, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing. We are going to be reading our first lesson. And this will be read by Shelly Ann Dyke. And please, those who are going to be reading, prepare yourselves, have your Bibles ready. So when you get up here, you are ready. Thanks. Praise the Lord. Praise him another time. Okay, scripture reading is taken from Psalm 146, 1 to the end. And it reads, Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live unto my God, while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth. In that very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that had the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executed judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry, the Lord looseth the prisoners, the Lord openeth the eyes of the blind, the Lord raiseth them that are bowed down, the Lord loveth the righteous, the Lord preserveth the strangers, he relieveth the fatherless and widow. But the way of the wicked he turneth upside down, tent and last. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise he the Lord. Here ended a portion of God's holy word, and we honor it by saying, Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 
We bless the name of Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus. We bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. At this time, we'll be going into some more praise and worship. And so as we ask you, as a praise and worship team come to us, we ask you to worship, hallelujah, the King of Kings, uh, along with the team. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. Majesty. Worship in majesty. Unto Jesus be glory.
until you bless me. I'm staying right here until I hear from you. My soul is thirsty and I am broken. Only you can make me whole again. Bless the name of Jesus. I won't move until you bless me. Hallelujah. I do wish this, that, is a, that somebody has wish today. I will leave this place until you bless me, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. At this time, we'll have in, we have a tribute. And this will be from Ryan Ricketts. Tribute from Ryan, followed by the second lesson, from, um, which will be read by Rosalind Thomas Matthew. So we'll take Ryan at this time. After, we'll take the second lesson. Is Ryan here? A lot of people might know Bob, Bobby. We know him as Brother Jermaine. We used to stand here night upon night, practice for service. We used to, this month, the first Sunday in this month used to be our brotherhood convention. And it is sad to know that not here anymore. One time he had an accident and he came back to us and he's made his testimony clearly. But this time, God know why. By the way you hear me talking, you know I feel really Really sad to know that I didn't come back to see Brother Bob another time. But only God. He was a very active person in church. I can remember when we singing and when it came to his part to sing. He had a special way to hold his mic. Because now we become an artist. And, you know, we bring a lot of joy to us here. But Brother Bob has gone. I just want to say to the rest of bikers, the young people, look forward to God. Because it's only God can bring us through. Don't matter the pain, what we're going through now. Continue. To look forward to God and hold on to him. He will bring you through any situation. Thank you. Good afternoon, church. Our second lesson is taken from Job 14, verse 1 to 10. And it reads as follows. Man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble. 
He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continueth not. And doubt thou open thine eyes upon such an one and bringeth me into judgment with thee. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean one? No one. Seeing his days are determined, the numbers of his months are with thee, thou hast appointed his bounds, and he cannot pass. Turn from him, and he may rest, till he shall accomplish, as an hearling his day. For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, and it will sprout again, and the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root therefore wax old in the earth, and the stock thereof die in the ground, Yet the scent of water will bud and bring forth bows like a plant, ten and last. But man dieth and wasteth away, yea, man giveth up the ghost, and where is he? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We bless the Lord for his words. Continuing at this time, we'll have a selection from Cherry Blair. And this will be followed by the third lesson from Tashana Matmohan Robinson. Is Cherry here? Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Praise God. Indeed, God is a good God. And today is no less a day to worship him. Praise God. It, is, it so happened that I was privileged to have sung at their wedding. And so it's, it was a happy moment to be asked to do such an honorable thing. But today, today it's another day of a different kind of singing. And so I must say to the young people who are here that our brother's body here should speak to us that one day, We'll be going. And so it is good from now when we can speak to get ready and stay ready. Praise God. I pray will Lord be ready. Yes, I pray will Lord be ready. I pray we'll all be ready for his return. I pray that we'll get our business straight so we can all meet at the gate. So I pray we'll all be ready for Jesus' return. Through men walking by the road, one of them had a purest gold. The sky was split. The puring heart ruptured away. Oh, the one who was left behind, he did not purge his heart in time. He cried to the Lord, but on him it was too late. Oh, I pray we'll all be ready. Brothers and sisters, I pray we'll all, we'll all be ready. I pray we'll all be ready when Jesus 
return. Oh, I pray that we'll get our business straight so we can all meet at the gate. I pray we'll all be ready for his return. Man and wife in their bed, one of them by the spirit led. The rapture came and took that one, that one ever. Oh, up the next day to find their loved one raptured away. Oh, what a way! Oh, what a way to lose the one you love. So I pray we'll all be ready, young and old. I pray we'll all be ready. Glory to God. I pray we'll all be ready when Jesus returns. Oh, I pray that we'll get our business straight so we can all meet at the gate. I pray we'll all be ready for his return. Remember, there is no repentance in the grave. Mama and children in the mall. Their mama heard the master's call. She was swept into the by and by. Oh, you cannot rely on your mother's pearl when your mama is no longer here. Turn to the Lord, turn to the Lord while you have got time. Oh, I pray we'll all be re ready and waiting. I pray we'll all be ready. I pray we'll all be ready for Jesus' return. Oh, I pray that we'll get down on our knees and ask the Lord to watch us clean. I pray we'll all be ready for his return. I pray we'll all be ready for his return. He's coming back again. And he's going to pay every man according to our work. So be ready. Hallelujah. Good afternoon, everyone. Lesson is taken from Revelation 21, reading from verses 1 to 8. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned to his husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Lord is with men. And he will dwell with him, and they tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, 
neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, right, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. He that cometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son, eight and last. But the fearful, the unbelieving, and the admonition, sorry, ab abomin abominable, and mothers, and warmongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burn it with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Thank you. Hallelujah. I pray we all be ready. I pray we all be ready. You know, Bobby came to us here at Geneva. We all fall in love with him. A young man who loved to smile. He seems happy all the time. And just to let it be short. I was at the riverside with him. I took him to the riverside. Hallelujah. I was also at his wedding. I prayed over them at his wedding. And as the Bible said, the older women should teach the younger ones. And so from time to time, I have a little advice for his wife. Hallelujah. She'll come to me sometime and say some things and ask some question. And I'll give her. So one side. What a one and give her a talk. Yeah. It's really a sad moment for us all. And with the, 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 um, Sister Cherry Singh. I pray we all be ready. Young people, young people, take heed. Take heed. You don't know when, you don't know the hour, you don't know the minute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bobby did not know that Monday morning. He did not know. None of us know. His wife did not know. But he's not here with us today. Take heed. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. A selection from Sister Janet McIntosh and Company. Can somebody bless the Lord? Hallelujah. Can somebody just shout hallelujah? Come on, just shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody just shout hallelujah. Come on, it is the highest praise. Just shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody give him praise in the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he is worthy yes, he to is. be praised. Hallelujah. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We are from the Emmanuel Temple, Assembly of God Church. And on behalf of Sister Carol, our church sister and her family, you know, it is hard to lose a loved one. But this afternoon, I pray that she will hold on. Family, wife, friend, you know, everyone just hold on. Praise Amen, somebody? Praise the Lord. Praise God. <clears throat> Have you the river? You can go to mountain too high to climb. Have you, 
Hold on. For someday Jesus will come. Hallelujah. It's a command given unto us, God's people. Hold on. Hold on. Jesus will come. And we're going to ask the question Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for that great judgment day? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for that day? Praise the Lord again, everybody. Praise the Lord again, everybody. Praise the Lord. Dear we. Oh dear. My. Oh my goodness. Amen. I stand before you again. Here it is. I got it. I stand before you again this evening before I do the remembrance from the church, just to remind you who we are. We are New Life Community Church International, Geneva Heights, Grange Hill, Westmoreland. All our friends and family and well-wishers who are watching on Zoom and on Facebook Live, and if there be any other platform that you are watching and listening from, we welcome you this evening. And you are at liberty to put into the chat your remarks, greetings, your condolences for the family. Amen. The wife's name is Celisa Brown McMahon and the baby, JJ, we call her JJ. She is Jalicia Germania McMahon. Amen. So please, if you do, you can have comments into the chat. It will be well appreciated. We would also like to extend our friends and our friends with us this evening, sitting in the pew, and those of you who are on the platform would like to welcome and greet Pastor Esmin Cranston from St. Elizabeth. Amen. Not Pastor. Triumphant Church of God, Round Hill, St. Elizabeth. Amen. And, and brethren, as I call these names, some of the people I I'm going to be seeing them for the first time, but you know the scripture tell you, a man that has friend must show himself friendly. And so for many of the persons who are sitting on the platform today, it is because of our brethren who have migrated and they have shown themselves friendly, find themselves at a place that us here in Geneva, our family ship can be enlarged. Come on, give the Lord a praise for that this evening. We have with us Minister Barrington James. Minister Barrington James. Um, praise, praise Sanctuary. Ellersley. 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 Spanish town. Amen. Give him a hand, praise for me, please. Amen. Bishop elect. Philip Daly. Come on, Bishop elect. Bishop elect. Bishop elect Philip Daly. Kitson Town. I know that one. Spanish Town. Because that is where the might is going. Amen. Amen. And we also have Reverend Ron Ruthland from Assemblies of God right here in community. Praise God for the fellowship, sir. Amen. We have our own evangelist, Jesse Clark, from New Life Community Church here in Geneva. Amen, amen, amen. We also have our pastor, Dr. Gosling Thomas, right here, our host pastor. 
in this community. Come on, give the Lord praise to all our men of God up here. And last but not least, we would like to specially welcome Bishop McCray, A. Ray McHugh. You know. Praise the Lord, Bishop Ray McHugh. Amen. Bishop Ray McHugh. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Pastor, his name is here. Pastor Ian Martla. Amen. Good friend and fellowship, brethren. Amen. From Praise Tabernacle Worship Center, right there in Sterling Grange Hill. Amen. 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 Let us support all of us into the Grange Hill community. Amen. Let's support. Let's give our support. Tear down the kingdom of darkness and draw our men and women unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So you will hear some more from these men of God. I stand here to do the remembrance for our assembly here. There's a quote on my father's tomb. My father died long ago which I would like to share. It begins, if tears could build a stairway and the memories allain, I would walk right up to heaven and bring you back again. No farewell words were spoken, no time to say goodbye. You were gone before we knew it and only God knows why. Our heart still aches with sadness and secret tears still flows. What it meant to love you, no one will ever know. But now we know you want us to mourn for you no more. To remember all the happy times, life still has much in store. And so the author it says is unknown. Brother German Bobby McMahon came into our lives here in the year 2017. On that Sunday morning, looking out into the congregation, we saw our visitors who were here. Seated on the second seat, there was a, a handsome young man. And so when we went to do our greetings, and to recognize our visitors, of course, we asked our visitor to stand and acknowledge himself. He stood and he introduced himself to us. His name, Jermaine Bobby McMahon. Invited by one of our young people, Celeste Brown. Certainly, we were delighted to have him worshiping with us. Thus began our journey with Bobby. Further conversations established his desire to become a Christian and also to marry Celicia. I can assure you, he was very interested in learning the way of the Lord. Therefore, in the year of the Lord, 2017, 2017, 2018, Brother Germain was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of his sins, according to Acts 2, 38. He continued his walk with the Lord Jesus, attending the house of the Lord regularly and becoming an active participant in the brotherhood group and the young people's choir. In August 2018, in this very house, Germain publicly declared his love for Celisa by way of engagement. Right over there, so pictures were taken and all. They joined in holy matrimony in December 2018, according to the word of God. Wherefore, they are no more twain, but one flesh. And what therefore God has joined together, 
let not man put asunder. Mark also remarks, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. We remember the time when Bobby had the accident coming home from work in Montego Bay. It was a very distressing time for us. The prognosis was not good, but we did what we mostly know to do into this congregation. Those of you who know about prayer, this is what is keeping this congregation. This is what is keeping this lighthouse in the community. This is what is keeping pastor, myself, Evangelist Clark, and those who have remained faithful into this community. And so the prognosis wasn't good. Prayer was made. Intercession and supplication was made night and day for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who remember those days, remember the big chop in his head. Remember when he went to the doctor. The doctors didn't think he would make it. And if he did make it, he would not be sensible again. Prayer work. Prayer work. All the time. Prayer work. God healed Bobby and delivered him. God comforted the heart of his young wife and gave her the victory, gave her peace that he would not leave her at that time. And so we continue to look. After a while, we became very concerned with Bobby's sporadic walk with God and his sporadic attention and attendance in the house. And let me tell you something, brethren, we know today that the enemy is the devourer of our souls, but we also know that it is with a mind we serve Christ. We know that there is nothing on earth that brings us more joy than serving Jesus Christ. And this evening, as we come, tears are a language that God understands and as i read before if tears could build that stairway to heaven and the memories was a lane personally i would take that journey because his work was not completed where god is concerned well i can't say that really in our eyes into this congregation his work and journey with the lord was not completed he should have been here to grow in grace. He should have been here to grow in the ministry. I understand that he has a very powerful testimony and work ethics in his workplace. We wanted that in here. We miss that in here. And so we remember Bobby this evening. We remember him for his walk with the Lord. We remember him for his desire to serve the Lord. But somewhere along the line, his joy was taken. Want to encourage everybody this evening. I wish we, that was just four, it wasn't even four years. It's four years of marriage, but it's not four years of church. I wish we had four years of church and could give you some more. And so I want to say today, as the pastor of this congregation, along with my husband, brethren, saints, young people, community, serve God. 
serve the Lord with your whole heart. Do not let the enemy steal your joy. Don't let the enemy steal your peace because he gives a peace that passes all understanding. Lord bless you this evening as you continue to listen and to worship in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Our next tribute will be coming to us from Sister Jackie on behalf of the family. Please greet her as she comes. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless his name. He's worthy. I was asked to put pen to paper in remembrance of the passing of a community friend, a family member, a young stalwart who had just started out life. We are going down the valley one by one. We are told of a city eternal of splendor sublime. Between our home here and that city lies the stream of life. And in that stream of life lies the stream of death. It flows in silence fall. The hidden mystery in shadows reveal himself in the womb of Christine Richards McMahon and the vibrant male gender of Barrington McMahon. The life of a boy child named Germaine McMahon was delivered in the year 1995 on the 9th of January. Mastering the care of this noble child, he was well received. His first tutoring begins at the Del Molly Basic, then Riverside All Age, then the Grange Hill High School. His upbringing was different from his other siblings. He set sail in the wider world to achieve his own income, doing odd jobs. He works at Juicy Beef, then the bike taxi transportation, and then which he settled at the Denos and Gettys Company. By means of traveling, he would drive or ride in his own motorcycle. His untimely fate came so close best, he took his water baptism at the New Life Ministry Church in Geneva and also gained his love of his life Mistress Celestia Brown, Matt Mohan. The union produced an angel indeed. The question is asked, who or what is man that thou should be mindful of? Untimely goodbye. To his mother, Christine Richards Matt Mohan, the cradle rocker who handles my battles. Like a warrior, your hands were so sore, you kept my path free from rot. When misfortune overtakes me in every condition, in sickness, in health, home and abroad, you took me like a lamb. You upheld me and strengthened me. My mother, Christine, fear not. God is with thee. Be not be dismayed. My father, Sir Barrington McMahon, you represent a pillar like Jacob a stone, a tower, a fortress. Every act you perform, it was showing me how to sow, how to reap, how to keep watching and waiting for the signal of life. Oftentimes I hide my blushy face. This day, my father, you will hear the noise of the battle. The next will be the victory song. Mom and dad, please, don't weep or be so sad. Some must be young and upgrown. God is gathering gems for his throne. Hey, my brothers, hey, my sisters. My savior bades me to seize from Rome. With my Lord, I brave that chilling tide. He's conducting me safely home. I have ended the troubles, the cares of this stormy land. 
Do not melt your eyes with tears. Delight yourself in thankfulness. I embrace you, Celestia Brown. My embrace, my love, and my spouse shades the evening fading step. While I was roaming, you carved me and bring me my message across the sea. Face to face someday. Be content, Celestia. With grace, God will give you a new life to begin with patience. Our golden dreams, I know you are sad to face it all alone. My love, we have no records of debt. Neither fear, my sins has put that for sure. You were smooth on my pillows. Yes, I do, you do understand. You stay closely at home, so calm and be content. A glory around you, you be the sweetest babe. You both are my love and my strong card. Good night until my guardian angels, they will take care of you. Goodbye and goodbye. Bless the Lord. Amen. Amen, amen. Give it up for Sister Jackie another time. Real community person. You cannot have a funeral in this community and she's not there. Real community person. Amen. Praise the Lord. Even offering. And so I'm asking the ushers to be prepared. Amen. And we are asking you if you would give as generously as you can. We surely will appreciate this. Uh, we have some persons on the pulpit, however, and so we're going to fill in just for time. And the first person I'm going to ask is Pastor Cranston, just to come and greet us. Amen. Praise God. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Praise God, praise God. I just want to greet you. all from the Round Hill Triumph this evening, you know, to see, you know, our dear sister over there. I know she's grieving, but I know God is able to keep her. Praise God. All you have to do is just to look to him because he's able to keep you. Praise God. We know our brother has gone on. Praise God. And this is a lesson. Praise God. Even to the young people to show that you are not too young to die. Praise God, but you have to just look to God because he's able to carry you through. Praise God, just pray, just, just pray for you that the Lord will continue to keep the McMahon family as God will bless you all. Praise God. Thank you so much, Pastor Cranston. The Lord bless you. Amen. Are we ready? Ushers, are we ready? Amen. We're inviting you to turn to your program. We are going to sing. And and so I am also suggesting to us that the dead is already gone. I'm suggesting to us that we who are alive and remain, check ourselves. Amen. And as we sing these songs in your hearing, can you truly say, what will it be when we get over yonder? We're going to sing and shout and dance about when we see King Jesus. And so let us be prepared. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A country where no twilight is where night will never be. A city where no storm girl cannot gather. Oh, Praise this is just what heaven means to me. One joy will be where we are. Me 
praise the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Praise God, praise God. I'm asked to bless the offering, Father God. Father in heaven, mighty God, you are great, you are wonderful, you are powerful, you are sweet, you are excellent. Hallelujah. Somebody said you are awesome in this place, mighty God. And so God, we place this offering before you. I pray God that you will bless and sanctify it for the furtherance of your work. I pray God that you will bless those who give. Praise God and also those who do not have to give. I pray God that you will bless them the same. Have your own sweet divine way. And we leave the rest of the service entirely into your hands as we say thanks in Jesus' name. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, we'll be taking some tributes. So the first one will be from Celebration Band, followed by Patsy, Patsy and Company, after which we'll have Keisha on behalf of Sister Valerie. So we take Celebration Band, Brand, sorry, Celebration Brand. Then we take Pat, Patsy and Company, after which Keisha, on behalf of Sister Valerie, will be coming to us. And so we're going to ask you to, if you have a long tribute, we're going to ask you to cut it in for the sake of time. Hallelujah. Afternoon, church. Hallelujah. Okay, so we are Celebration Brands Limited, representing from the Montego Bay, D.C., where Jermaine worked. We'll be reading a tribute to him, and uh, immediately, Immediately following that, the videographer will play a one minute slide of our remembrance of him. So in memory of Jermaine McMahon, where do people go when they die? Somewhere down below or in the sky? I can't be sure, but it seems they simply set up home in our dreams. Good morning. The journey has just begun. Don't think of don't think of him. Don't think of him <clears throat> has gone away. His journey has just begun. As a dear friend of mine, life holds many faces. His journey on earth is only one. You got the just think of him as resting from the sorrows and the tears in a place of warmth and comfort where there are no days and years. Think of him. Think how we must be wishing that we could know today how nothing but our sadness can really pass away. And think of him as living in the hearts of those he touched for nothing loved is ever lost and he was loved so much. We little knew the day that God called his name. In life, we loved him dearly. In death, we do the same. It broke our hearts to lose him, but he didn't go alone. For part of us went with him the day God called him home. He left us peaceful memories. His love is still our guide. And through we cannot see, sorry, and though we cannot see him, he is always at our sides. Our family chain is broken and nothing seems the same. But as God calls us one by one, the chain will link again. If we could bring him back again for one more hour or day, we'd express all our unspoken love. We have countless things to say. If we could bring him back again, we would say we treasured him and that his presence in our lives meant more than we ever knew. If we could bring him back again, 
to tell him what we should, we would know how much we miss him. And if we could, we would. Thank you. Can you play the video for us, please? Hudson Company. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a sad occasion for my cousin. I know how you felt, my dear, but keep on trusting God. He is able. Oh, hallelujah. My heart can sing when I pass to remember that a heart takes care. His blood is stepping stone along the train that winding was a word. This troubled word is not my final home, but until death. My heart will go on singing until death with joy and carry on until the day my eyes behold the city until the day God Until dead with joy and carry until the day my eyes behold the city 
until the day God calls me home. The things of earth, it will dim and lose their value. What if we could record? They are only borrowed for a while. The things of earth that cause my head to tremble. Remember it will only bring me a smile. But until then, my heart will go on singing. Oh, until then, with joy and carry on. Until the day, my eyes behold the city. Oh, hallelujah. Until. This item is on behalf of Valerie. Um, don't listen to the voice. <laughs> don't listen to the words of the song, please. Mm. I say of the Lord he is your refuge, in him will you put all of your trust, he's taking you daily from glory to glory, son him will you trust, oh. In him will you trust Some trust in chariots Some trust in horses But I will remember The name of the Lord He is a warrior Yes, he is mighty in battle in him will I trust, oh, in him will I trust, he's my defender, my shield and butler, my hope. Trust in trust in her Remember the name of our God. He is a warrior, and yes, he is mighty. In him will you trust. In him will you trust. Come on, man. Hallelujah. You must never doubt him. You must fervently pray and rest in him because he has a track record. You have never failed. Son, he 
him will you trust. Hallelujah. In him will you trust. Oh, some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But you must remember the name of my God. Yes, he is mighty. In him will you trust. Oh, yes. Salicia, you must trust. Oh, some trust in chariots. Oh, some trust in horses. But you must remember the name of your God. Yes, he is a warrior. He is mighty. Yes, in Him will you trust. In Him will you trust. In Him you must put your trust. Oh yes, hallelujah. In Him you must put your trust hallelujah hallelujah come on we shout hallelujah in the house hallelujah 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 in him will i trust we bless the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah at this time i'm gonna ask bishop daly pastor james Pastor Matlock, just to give us two words to the young people. They give two words to the young people, 30 minutes each. 30. No, not minutes, I'm sorry. Seconds. 30 seconds each. Pastor, let me repeat. Uh, Matlock, Pastor James. Uh, Bishop Daly speak directly to the young people in Geneva right now. Hallelujah. I had some weary days. I had some lonely Some dreary days. I have some sleepless nights. But when I look around, bless the Lord Jesus. You know, um, I was asked to speak to the young person, so my focus will be directly to you. But I also want to speak to everyone. My brother, whom I was closest to. We were so close that I lived in Kingston. I worked in Papine. He used to go to JC, Jamaica College. And we were so close that if he left school before me, he would come to Papine and wait on me. And if I left work before him, I would wait on him in the square of Papine. I remember I dreamt and saw his death. And I went to his home in Almontown. We lived in two separate places. I lived on Reddell's Road. He lived in Almontown. And I... Went to his home in Almonton and I moved him out, took him to my house. My other brother was visiting from Belize at the time, no, from Costa Rica at the time. So happened to have been in Jamaica and the other one who worked on the ship at the time, so happened to have been in Jamaica. And coincidentally, we all had the same haircut at the same time and shaved the same way, unplanned. I remember cooking in Aki and Saltfish and we all ate and we laughed at each other. And I went to work 
When I got back the evening, my brother moved out. My brother left and he went back home. The Saturday morning, I got up to go to work and I saw his baby mother at my gate. And I turned to her and I said, Chantella, what happened to Horace? And she just started weeping. And that was the end of my brother at age 24, 1995. The scripture says, young men, I call upon you because you are strong. The uncertainty of life is such that it's not promised to anyone. Every single person who is in you right now, you're not guaranteed tomorrow. You're not guaranteed next week. You, you may have plans, whether it be work, migration, family, you know, marital plans, plans to have children, plans to renovate, to expand your home, to buy some new clothes, to go to a party, whatever your plans are, it's not guaranteed. The only thing that's guaranteed is an opportunity right now to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm encouraging you to do so urgently. The word of the Lord says that knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We're not trying to force you. We just know how terrible hell can be, according to the scripture. And if you miss heaven, the only other option is hell. You don't want to be there. Make the choice and make it quickly. A wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Lord. A wonderful Savior to me. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock. Will rivers of pleasures I see? He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock that shadows a dry still land. He hideth my life in the depths of his love and covers me there with his hand and covers me there with his hand. Geneva Heights, Grange Hill. We have heard on the news. We have heard the many young people who have passed on. Many young people who have died. We have heard have died tragically. It but today, I want a secure place. And that secure place is in Jesus. I want to let every young people know you are safe in the hand of Almighty God. Get covered before it is too late. God bless you. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By this time, we were taking the eulogy. And Juliet McMahon will be coming to read at this time.
Good afternoon, everyone. I am Bobby's aunt. And what I can remember about Bobby, I used to play prank calls on him. Because I usually use the whole celebration thing that he puts up on shops I write on the back to teach children because I'm a teacher. So temporarily I would use those. So sometimes I, I pick up the phone and when, I, when he answered, I, I would change my voice. And when he answered, I would say, is your fat thing? You know, remember your fat thing from up the road. And he would hug up his phone on me. But because I have two numbers, I use the other number to call him. And then I would say, okay, Mr. Bobby, don't hang up your phone. Is your fat girl a caller? You know, you don't know who that is calling you. And he would say, which fat girl? That? Which fat woman? You see me have any fat girl? And then I would say, so you don't recognize your auntie voice. And he would just laugh. Come to me, all of you who are weary and heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear and the burden I give you is light. That we once enjoyed and deeply loved, we can never lose. For all that we love deeply, becomes part of us. When you are born, you cry. And the world rejoices. When you die, you rejoice. And the world cries. Germain Bobby McMahon was born January 9, 1995 in the Savannah Lamar Hospital. He was the third son for his mother and second for his father. His sister Jody, who came not long, long, very long after, gave Aunt Lou, his grandaunt, the power to physically take him away from his parents because she had wanted him from he was born. So at the age one year and three months, he lived with his grandaunt, whom he affectionately called Grandma. He attended Dalmali Basic School, then the Riverside All Age, and then on to the Grange Hill High School. He got baptized in the New Life Community Church International in 2017. And as an inspiring young man who wanted to make something out of his life, he sought lawful employment. So he worked with Juicy Beef Patty Company for a while. Then in January 2018, he worked as a pre-sale executive, the celebration brand with DNG until his untimely passing. He met and got married to Celisa Brown, whom he called his wife in 2018. And this union produced one daughter, Jelisa. Bobby shared good humor, a big smile with everyone he met, especially me. He was well loved at his place of employment and I know that he is truly missed. Anyone who met Bobby quickly learned that there are always laughs to be shared. It was impossible to spend time with him without enjoying a gut busting laugh at some point in the conversation. Jermaine has left behind his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Barrington, McMahon, wife, Celisa, daughter, Jelisa, three brothers, two sisters, one niece, two nephews, aunties, uncles, and when I say auntie, one aunt, that Mrs. Bobby's auntie Rose, she's sitting right over the Rose, who solely looked after him in the Cornwall Regional Hospital. Cousins galore who are always quarreling who is the better cousin, co-workers, host of other relatives and friends and grandmother. Germain has ceased to be bereft of life. 
he rests in peace. He has kicked the bucket, hopped the twig, bit the dust, sniffed it, breathed his last, and gone to meet the great head of life, entertainment in the sky. All we have of him now is our memories, but it will be some time before they fade. Rest in peace, Jermaine Bobby McMahon. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. At this time, we are going to have remarks from Pastor Damian Batik coming out of Brooklyn, New York. You may turn your attention to the screen, please. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, praise the Lord to all the clerical representatives who are present at this funeral service today. On the behalf of uh, Tabernacle of Love, Apostolic Ministries International, along with my wife and the congregants, we want to express our condolences. Uh, in times like these that are so challenging, it behoves us as a community to come together to stand in support and to stand in the gap if and for each other. I want to extend, amen, uh, gratitude, appreciation, uh, to the ministerial representative from the Praise Sanctuary Ministries International Apostolic, uh, namely Minister Barrington James, Assistant Bishop Philip Daly, and of course, uh, the chief prelate of the said organization, uh, our Bishop Ray McHugh Sr., and all those who have connected online. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. To Pastor and Gosley, uh, Stephanie and Gosley Thomas, amen, my very good friends, uh, it was a no-brainer in, in terms of us supporting, amen, in whatever way that we can. We want to assure the bereaved family, amen, wife, amen, Celisa, amen, the mom, amen, dad, all the other family members, praise the name of the Lord, amen, of course, his child, amen, our commitment as we go forward to ensure, amen, that there is that powerful support, amen, and in whatever way that we can assist. We know it takes a community to grow a child and from a gospel standpoint, it's our responsibility to take care of the fatherless and to take care of those, amen, who have found themselves in a widow, amen, position. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so today we want to celebrate life. And to all those who are in attendance, his friends, his co-workers, I want to encourage you today, this overwhelming support that your experience in speaks to the type of uh, person that he was, his character, his integrity, the impact that he had near and far. But most importantly, as you would have heard in Pastor Stephanie's um, orations, uh, she made mention of the fact that he gave his life to the Lord and he tried his best. You may notice I am saying his best. Amen. To represent and to be a true servant of the most high God. We know that life is a journey. Praise God, we take many different avenues uh, at a different point in time. But I want to encourage you, that whatever you do in this season, ensure that you're reverencing the one who gives life, the one who has the power to take it away. As we go through the remainder of the service, I want you to think about life. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Praise the name of the living God. You rise and you fall. Praise the name of the Lord. But you need to have that hope. There is a hope that has been extended to every one of us today. Amen. That if you make a decision to accept our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in your life. Amen. Even if that should come knocking at your door, we know that there is an hope. Amen. So we just want to express that love, that affinity. Amen. That support. And to just let you know that you are not by yourself. Amen. And to... Amen. Uh, my spiritual goddaughter, because I am kidnapping her in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the living God. She doesn't know what is going on. She's only around two months. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But we will be there. Praise God. These are not empty promises, but we will be there to ensure that a future is secured for you. So again, from Tabernacle of Love, and also from the Praise Sanctuary Ministries Apostolic, Amen, International, praise the name of the Lord. 
Amen. Uh, we want you to know that as a family, we are here for you. You will not just be hearing us, but you'll be seeing us. There are three representations that are there already, and this will only get better. Pastor Gasly, amen. Uh, Pastor Thomas, I love you dearly. We stand with you, and I'm here to tell you that the best is yet to come. And to uh, Sister Sandra Michelle, who is actually on Zoom, uh, we stand with her because she's also feeling the pain and her husband, amen, praise God, Mr. Mitchell. So uh, they're part of our congregation here in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, we're standing with them and the love will overflow, amen. And I'm looking forward in coming to, amen, Westmoreland to be with you again, praise God, sometime soon. God wish she bless you, amen. And I'm here celebrating and rejoicing on this side of the vineyard. And I'm praying that somebody, and make a decision, make the Lord your personal savior and accept him into your life today. God bless you all, love you all, and let us continue to celebrate life. Amen. Give the servant of the Lord a big hand. The young man, I call on Praise you the because you're strong. Amen. And you may not remember him, but he has been here several times on missions trip. And he keeps asking for different ones. Amen. So I hope when he comes, he will find you here still serving the Lord. Thank you so much, Pastor Damien. Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. We are at this time, we are going to be favored with a selection from Sister Jackie, after which Pastor and I will come back to speak and to introduce the preacher remember you are on the program so don't worry yourself don't get out praise the lord i must say a big thank you to miss carol we know him as sister carol for inviting me to share in the bereavement of her son bless the lord and as a community stalwart i promise that i will serve until my weary days are past bless the lord there's some things that I love. I hope I'm so deep to my heart. To turn my life, remind me, remind you, Lord, some things that we love, we have. Our hearts, uh, they are borrowed, uh, they are not mine at all. Jesus only, let me use them, hallelujah, to brighten my life. Remind me, remind me, you Lord. Roll back, roll back the curtain of memories now and then. Show me, Lord, show me where you brought me from and where I could have been. Remember, I'm human. Lord and human, we tend to forget. So remind me, remind me in your Lord. For nothing good have I done to be saved. God's son, oh God, oh God, I'm not worthy. 
He trod the road, he trod the road to brighten my life. Why he loves me, why he loves me, oh, I can't understand. Oh, roll back, roll back those curtains, roll back it, roll it back. My brain's now unveiled. Show me where you brought me from. Lord, and where I could have been, I could have been. Oh, remember, remember, Lord, remember, Lord, remember. We are humans and humans. Forget, forget, Lord, we tend to forget. So remind me, I worship your mighty God. I give you all praise, I honor you. So remind me, remind me. So remind me. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. So much reminders that we are getting here this morning, this afternoon, that we are to serve the Lord. We are brought here on this earth for one purpose, is to serve the Lord and to keep his commandments. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And so, um, you, you go ahead. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. Just before Dr. Thomas continues, we would like to forget that um, Ms. Dixon, Dane, and Sister Burke are here from the pharmacy where Celisa work. Thank you so much for being here. Amen. To support Celisa today. Amen. Praise the Lord. I would like to invite Celisa and JJ to come up at this time. Amen. Praise God. Thank you for being so patient in the service. Nothing is going to happen. The Lord will pull back the rain until we are through because he knows this is a very important service today. And so he will pull back the rain until we are through. For all of you who are standing on the outside, in a few minutes, we will be coming with the word. And we want you to hear the word of the Lord because it will give you life. And it will give you life abundantly. Can you help her up, up here, please? Amen. As you heard in Pastor Batik's comment, is that... Um, Tabernacle of Love, Tabernacle of Love in Brooklyn, along with Praise Sanctuary here in Jamaica, will be standing by Sister Salisa and little JJ. Amen. Just give them a hand for me, please. Also, her own congregation here in Geneva Heights will be standing with them. The plan is to go with them until the age of 18. 
At this time, I am going to invite, going to invite Bishop. We have already spoken about the investment, so we don't need to go into all of that, but we just want to present, we just want to present to our daughter, Selisa, and to our, so, Man and pastor. No, this is granddaughter. So this is the granddaughter and this is a great granddaughter. Amen. So we just want to present to Selisa and to JJ on the behalf of Praise Sanctuary and Tabernacle of Love. Praise Amen. the Lord Jesus. Amen. Um, Praise Sanctuary Ministries and Tabernacle of Love, which is an associate ministry with Praise Sanctuary, um, Sister Angelita and Celicia, um often are on our prior line in the morning. When we heard of the sad news, we decided that we want to make an effort to help little Celicia, right? Amen. And so we have decided that um, we have spoken to pastor and we have decided to help. And so as a token, we are um, lodging into the BPM financial a thousand US dollars. Amen. For this young lady. Amen. As she grew up. Amen. And it's a token. So we commit that we'll continue to support as long as you grow up this child in the fear and admonition of the Lord. And we want you to know we are praying for you. Amen. And we'll stand in with you. The Lord bless you is our prayers. This is a thousand US dollars. And this is for JJ when she is, look at that, she's laughing here. Ah. When she'll be 18, she'll be ready to draw down on this investment education. for education, higher learning. Got it? Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. All right. I, I need you to give them a very hearty congratulation. Bless the Lord Jesus. Just want to let, let mother and daughter know that we are standing behind them. Praise the Lord. This time we are going to bring our speaker up to give you the word. David said in his word, thy word have I that I might not. That's the name of the Lord. So I present to you at this time, Pastor Bishop Ray Mac Macu. Bishop Ray McField, Senior. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord again, everybody. Come on, let's hear a praise the Lord from the outside. Uh, I. Okay, Raina, come. You're afraid of rain, friend? One thing the Lord... Check one, two. Hallelujah. The Lord told you not send rain to destroy the earth. You don't have to worry. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Amen. Let me take the opportunity today to greet you 
in the wonderful name of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Indeed, God is good and his mercies are everlasting and his truth endureth to all generation. I'm so thankful that the Lord has afforded us the privilege to be here to share in this service and to support, amen, the bereaved family. Amen, amen, amen. There's something about the family of God. It doesn't matter where we are. Amen. We can feel each other pain. We connect. Amen. And the scripture said, or the songwriter said, sometimes we laugh together. Sometimes we cry. Sometimes we share together our take and sigh. Sometimes we dream together of how it should be when we all get to heaven. God big family. Amen. I'd just like to greet Dr. Um, Stephanie and Goswell Thomas. Amen. Those pastors of this church. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. All the ministers of this church. Amen. The assistant bishop to um, of the praise sanctuary ministries, Pastor Philip Daly. Amen. To minister Barrington James, who travel with us, amen, from the praise sanctuary, Ellerslie, amen. I bring you greetings from my wife, amen, and the saints there at praise sanctuary ministries in Rochester, New York, amen. Praise God to those who are watching, we salute you. Pastor Batik, who you just hear from, amen. My dear friend, amen, whom we serve together with at New Life in Spanish Town, amen. And now we are partnering in ministry in New York, and we're so thankful for him, amen, amen. I'd like to convey my conduct. I'd like to convey my condolences to the family, amen, and to pray that the Lord will bless you continually and strengthen you, amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now, it is not wise, it is not wise, it is not wise, it is not wise. Amen. Amen. It is not wise. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we just stand together in the presence of the Lord? Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your kindness and for your grace. And Lord, as we gather here this evening, we're about to speak your words. Lord, we pray that your words will go forth with power. That your words, Lord, will minister to the hearts of your people. Touch, Lord, everything that seeks to exalt itself even now against your words. We come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We come against it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
We come against it now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you for what you're about to do. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you. you. May be seated. I want to speak to us today about life. Amen. I want to speak to us about life. It was the Apostle James in writing, he asked the question, what is your life? What is your life? Amen. And sometimes we have to stop for a moment and ask ourselves some very pertinent questions. Hallelujah. You see, questions are asked when men and women seek answer for some problems when they seek solution for some situation. And there are some questions that have been asked uh, of people all through the ages as they, uh, they try to figure out the true meaning of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was Job who asked the question, if a man die, will he live again? Oh, God Almighty. He wanted to know if, if all that is going to happen is that we born and we die and it end there. But I heard the word of God as it gives the answer. It said, it's appointed unto man once to die, but after death comes the judgment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, 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 and James asked the question and he spoke to them as they made plans. He said, what is your life? Because your life is like a vapor. And I'm here to speak for a few minutes on four facts about life. Amen. That's four facts of life. Number one is that we only have one life. It doesn't matter who you are. A cat may have nine, but you have one. Hallelujah. You may have two girlfriends, one wife. Two boyfriends, one life. Two pair of shoes, one life. Five bikes to ride. You only have one life. Hallelujah. You only have one life. And therefore, her, the songwriter said, only one life. So soon it will pass. It's only what's done for Christ that will last. They said, choose today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you only have one life. And I don't know about you, brothers and sisters. It is important that whatever choices you are making in this life, you make it on the basis that you only have one opportunity to pass this way. And it's what you do in your lifetime that will determine where you spend your eternity. Number one fact is that you only have one life. Number two is that life 
is short. Hallelujah. Life is short. It was Job who said, man that is born of a woman is of a few days. Hallelujah. And it is full of trouble. So I heard the psalmist said, teach me to number my days that I may apply my heart to wisdom. Brothers and sisters, life is short. You're here today and you're gone tomorrow. There is no guarantee in life. Hallelujah. Because you can be here today. As a matter of fact, we're just driving up. And when we came to exchange, a young man was lying there dead at his business place. He was alive a few because life is short. Hallelujah. So you got to understand that in the short period of time that we have, we have to make the best use of it. You have no guarantee for tomorrow. Hallelujah. So choose the Lord today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Life is short. You know, years, a couple of years ago, I have a friend. Hallelujah. He works, we work together. That young man left. He went to college. He went to UTech to do his, to upgrade himself, get a good education. He went off to work with separate. I went off to work with First Life. I remember when he came out of college. Uh, I visited him. Uh, I sold him uh, his first life insurance policies. Uh, oh, God Almighty. Uh, it was a couple of weeks after uh, that I was traveling. Uh, met a friend who used to work together. Do you hear what happened uh, to Richard? Uh, I said, no, what happened? Uh, I saw him a couple of weeks ago. Uh, she said he was just walking out of his house just to go to the bus stop when somebody, a madman without even a license, rode the bank, snuffed his life out. Richard, with all his potential, with all his ambition, after all his study, was cut off before he was 25 years old. Life is short. You cannot plan on tomorrow. The only one you need to plan with is God. I heard the songwriter said, I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. But I know who holds tomorrow. And I know who holds my hand. You see, brothers and sisters, when your hand is in the hands of God, it doesn't matter if you live five or 20 years. It doesn't matter if you live 10 or 100 years because God has come to give us life and life more abundantly. Go ahead. It's not yet. Life is short. That one life you have is one short life. Ask German. He will tell you. Life is short. Thirdly, life is 
is uncertain. The heart is short and life is uncertain. The only thing that is certain in life is that you're going to die. And so you, uh, you function as if you control your life. Come on over, man. Serve the Lord. No, I'm not ready yet. Oh, you? Oh, yeah. It's your life. You know what's going to happen tomorrow? Life is uncertain. Life is uncertain. I, I, I spoke about another friend of mine. Arlene, oh God, in those days, when I, I, a long time I lived, you know, those days I used to hear people saying, Arlene, I was a dream, you a dream. Oh Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Arlene, Arlene was a friend of mine. We worked together at income tax. Oh God, we're there on E Street and Arlene got it, you know? Mm, mm, uh, she had it. Oh God Almighty, and Arlene would flaunt it. Lord Jesus, I went to Arlene and I spoke to Arlene about the need for God. She said, which church you go? I told her that time I used to attend True Tabernacle United. She said, no, man, Pentecostal church too noisy. She had no time for that. Oh God, a couple of weeks, a month after I left in tax. Uh, my friend Dorcas called me uh, and said, Ray, you know what happened to Arlene? I said, no. Uh, she said, man, Arlene just started losing weight. Uh, oh, that nice cocoa buckle shape. Uh, uh, find out uh, what happened to Arlene. Uh, and she was just melting away. Oh God, she came to church after that. But when she came, Arlene was nothing like what she used to be. There was nobody that dream were dreaming about Arlene because she looked like nothing. And she died without Christ because her body was more precious than her soul. Can I tell you, brothers and sisters, it's time you stop. So many of you are dressing up your bodies, but your soul is empty. Oh God Almighty, you have a good ear style, but an empty soul. Eyelashes, but empty about empty soul. Jury law, about empty soul. You're taking more acts, but empty soul. There is nothing. It doesn't matter what you try, brothers and sisters. There is nothing that can satisfy the hunger of the soul. I heard somebody say, only Jesus can satisfy your soul. Only him can cleanse your heart and make you whole. What do I know? I know. I wasn't born a Christian. You see, I was born a parents who were Christian. But when I grew up to be 16, I rejected. And I would go to the bar. i go to the club. And I'd become a DJ. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I said, I have nothing to do with it. And I try everything. I started to drink. We mix we mix Sputnik. No, no, it's not. 
Oh, Lord, those days, uh, he said it's too strong for him. Uh, but we try everything. Uh, we try dark shadow. Uh, when we put red striped beer, uh, oh, God Almighty, uh, with red label wine, uh, call it dark shadow uh, to the whole me. Uh, I try steel bottom. Uh, when I put the white rum uh, with the white milk, uh, and it still couldn't satisfy me. Uh, but God, somebody said, uh, you got to try smoke. Enough, uh, because when you take it, uh, it leaves you breathless. They were telling the truth. When it was true, it is gonna die. Uh, oh God Almighty! Uh, but that could hold me. Uh, I tried everything, uh, but my soul uh, could not be satisfied. Uh, but one day, uh, I came to Jesus uh, as a was uh, weary, uh, worn, uh, sad. Uh, I found in Him uh, a resting place. Uh, he make me glad. Uh, oh God Almighty, never was uh, I so happy before. I don't know about you. If you're searching out there, it doesn't matter who. Oh Lord. Let me just preach. Oh God, don't go searching. Don't go searching. He's here. He's here. Only Jesus can satisfy. Your soul. Life. One life. Life is short. Life is uncertain. And finally, you determine. The extent of the blessing or the cursing on your life. Your mommy can't make that choice for you. Your father can't make that choice for you. The hope your worker can. Oh God Almighty, that the hope your worker. That hope your worker. That, they, they told me that that hope your worker had my name written in his shoes and walking on it. I said, nothing would come out of me. Take you off oh, yeah. But for a moment, I thought it was true. Yeah, yeah, you're almost believing. Uh, yeah. I believe it. Yeah. Because, oh my God, when I pass, go to high school, they said, I'm occupied. Where the past. And brothers and sisters, yeah. instead of going to school, I go gambling. Mm. I, I start to mix up with the gang. When I was 18, I was in sixth form in high school. I was locked up, charged with dangerous wounding. Drop out the high school. There's a nothing to come out of my life. But oh, then there's a liar. Oh God Almighty. I don't care which Obia man has spoken over your life today. Uh, I, I know I know people in Westmoreland love Obia. Oh Lord. <laughs> my pastor so remember me I forgot back home but uh, oh, come, come on I hope your man can't touch me oh lord I don't fear that I hope your man lord god almighty hallelujah listen to me the hope your man dead huh? and look at me today the lord has been so good to me huh? because when Jesus comes huh? let 
tempest power is broken. Jesus, break every fetter. I don't care which chain that they'll spin. I strike to spin you in. I want hell that try to cast over you. I come here right now. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke it by the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost. I lose you from that spell. Come forth in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God Almighty, I can't preach any longer, but you don't have to live according to what they say. Don't let them tell you anything, so to say. You're not going under. I, I, I don't know anybody here. First I come to the area. First I met you, you and you. I don't know anybody here except we three. We three men from... Yes, we come from the east. Okay, we come down to the west, right? We don't know, we don't know anything about it. Oh, what we wise in Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah! I don't know what they're saying about you, Sensi. I don't know what the predictions are over your life. But I'm saying to you, you're going to be the head, not the tail. You're going to be a victim, not a victim. You are not a victim. Just remember this. If God be for you, It doesn't matter who is against you. No sister-in-law, no brother-in-law, if God is for you. God Almighty, God Almighty, God Almighty, God Almighty, God Almighty. Woo! You're vocative, girl. There are more with you than they that are against you. God is sending help from his sanctuary. And God gonna provide for you a table before your enemies. They're gonna see you eating. They're gonna see you blessed. They can't do nothing about it. Oh, receive our oh, Lord God. I don't even need to preach anymore. Ah, oh, Lord Jesus. God tell me that's it. What are the choices you're gonna make for your life today? Jesus said, the word of the Lord said, seek ye the Lord, while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man is taught. Come on, turn away, and you will find pardon. It doesn't matter how far you have been. I know some of us have made mistakes. Thank you. All of us have made mistakes. That bike man, that bike man, best you come make a pray for you. Oh, God. All of us have made some mistakes. But it doesn't matter how far you have been. Doesn't matter where sin abound, grace much more abound. God can turn your life around. God can give you peace, give you joy. Don't have to live a miserable life. Ah, in his presence, 
there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand are pleasures forever. I want to pray for somebody today who wants to change in your life. You know that you only have this one life. And you don't know when it will end because life is short. And you're living a time of great uncertainty. <laughs> you don't know what will happen. There's no guarantee. But today, you have the power in your hand. The psalmist said, my soul is continually in my hand. You have the power in your hands to determine your future. God said, I put before you choices. I put before you life and Christ death. Can bring and God is saying today, choose life. Just before we do the recession, that you want us to pray with you. Christ can bring just for a minute, just move. He will say, you breathe yes, he wants to pray. on the other side of Jordan, on the other can be for this day. We thank you for this hour. We thank you for these who have walked to the altar in spite of the fact that it's a funeral service. God, you have stepped forward to indicate God they want a change in their life. I pray in the name of Jesus and you bring about that transformation. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you stretch forth your hands. Touch them individually. Touch them collectively. In the name of Jesus. Grant transformation in your life. Break forth upon them even now. Touch them from the even to the 
the sole of your feet. Let the Holy Ghost break through all of us upon them even now. Have your own way. Bring about the deliverance we pray. In Jesus' name. And for your whole glory. Stretch put your hands. Let the blood of Jesus touch your heart. Yellow Shanda Bahai. In Jesus' name. Like the woman. <laughs> and the world. Just lift your hands and give him glory. I was seeking. Yeah. Oh, I'm a Shanda Bahai. God is dealing with your heart. But then <laughs> I heard the Savior calling. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that <laughs> Praise the Lord. Heaven has borne witness Amen. of everyone that walked to this altar today. Amen. The angels Amen. have seen your effort that you walked to this altar. Today, your life is in the hand of God. And so you now need to make the next step by committing your life fully to Christ. Amen. It's good that you have walked to the altar. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But the the journey of a thousand miles begin with one. You started your first step today. Uh -huh. Pastor Thompson, Pastor Thomas, amen. I want you to be a witness. We want to see these souls in church. And we are believing God amen. that they will commit themselves tomorrow, even tomorrow. Commit your life fully to Almighty God. God bless you. We'll continue to pray for each and every one of you. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Come on, you can do better than that. Put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. What a friend we have in Jesus. All of our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to him in prayer. I'm going to ask everyone else to stand at this time except the family. Amen. The family can be seated as long as you're here to support the family. We're going to ask you to stand as we pray for the family. Hallelujah. The God that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ever ask, think, or even imagine. God, we place the family before you. We ask, mighty God, that you will cover them under your blood. You said you will never leave us comfortless. Mighty God, I pray that you will grant them the peace that passes all understanding. I pray, mighty God, that you will cover every single one under the blood, the wife, mother, father, brothers, sisters, aunties, uncles, we declare, mighty God, that it will keep them in the palm of your hand. Mighty God, we know that this is a time, God, that is difficult for them. But I thank you that you said you will never leave them and you will never forsake them and that you will be with them always. We bind, we disrupt, we intercept, we pull down, and we tear down every tactics, device, and strategy of the enemy to bring this unity. We destroy it by 
by the blood and we declare mighty God that your spirit will reign that your anointing will flow cover them Lord God as they go through this fever Holy Spirit I pray that you will grant them the strength as the word of God declares that your strength is made perfect in their times of weakness and so I know God anything we have committed unto you you said you will keep mighty God and so we commit them in the palm of their hands and I pray father that you will watch over them rather commit the daughter into thine hands and i pray god almighty that you will grow up this child in the fear and in the admonition of the lord i pray that you will cover her under the blood i pray that you will cover the wife as she is grieving i pray god almighty that you will grant her that strength that you will grant her that peace i pray for the mother and the father and the brothers and sisters that god it is not easy but god you are able to keep them and keep them well father we thank you for all that you have done and all that you're about to do as we bless and honor you in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Weren't our hearts glad this evening? Weren't our hearts glad this evening? Weren't our hearts glad this evening? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just want to acknowledge everyone who has been here. There's an acknowledgement by the family. Is that ready? An acknowledgement by the family. Or right, I'll just read what is on here. Acknowledgement. We, the family of the late German McMahon. Amen. We, the family of the late German in McMahon, would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to all who reached out in this most trying times of our lives. Indeed, we have felt your sympathy through your visits, calls, and well wishes. Whatever role you have played to console us, we thank you. Continue to keep us in your prayers. God bless you immensely. Amen. And so we have come to the end of the funeral service for Bobby, Jermaine. Thank you for your patience. And may the word of the Lord germinate. Amen. Look forward to see you in the house tomorrow just to worship with us and to give God thanks. We are going to be going out right now. We are going to sing as I travel through this land, as I travel through this pilgrim land. There's a friend Ooh. who walks with me, leads me safely through the sinking sand. It is the Christ of Calvary. We are going to sing two verses. And then we are going to ask the Paul Bearers to come at the third verse. The Paul Bearers will come. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also the clergy will go first, then the family, then the casket. Internment will be in, in Geneva here. Please wait. We're not ready yet, you know. You're just setting it. Amen. And so we look forward to seeing you there as we continue this journey. Amen. As I travel to this land, there is a friend who walks with me. To the sinking sand, it is a cry to Calvary. I will put my faith in Jesus, Lord, that I may do the blessed thing. As I onward go, let it be the blessed Jesus.
slim line. Blessed way, keep me that I may be holy, that I sing with them. Shout on Sunday. Be I have put my faith in the grave, I know I never fail. Take a song as I am again. Let it be the best. Hallelujah. Yeah.